In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of a feature that came out this summer of 2020. It's the Teams Rooms tab of the Teams Admin Center. It can be reached on this address, admin.teams.microsoft.com slash devices slash room systems. From the new firmware 4.5.35 that came out this summer, we have a new feature which enables the Teams Room systems to report into this page. We can see systems that are healthy or unhealthy. For example here I have three systems, two of which are unhealthy and one is healthy. I'm going to show you how that looks in these systems. Some of the features are that I can configure these systems through this interface. I can also collect logs, I can see what is online and offline. So if I start with this demo 4, press the demo 4. I can then get an overview of this system, for example it's a Creston Flex system. I got a Logitech C930 webcam connected to it. I have one display, if I had another display it would be shown here. I can get the logs from here, download device logs. If I do that, I get the information that uh, the logs are being prepared and I can download them in a little while. If I don't like that this system collects all this information about my MTR system, I can press the actions up here and uh, block the device. If I do that, it will no longer report back to the system. If I want, I can go through the uh, menus here health for example we can see the devices that are connected if they are offline I can see when they went offline I can also see what services are logged in and not logged in for example I see in a couple of Skype for business uh, logins that doesn't work I can then see this here much more easily than decrypt the information on the Teams room display I can also see the version of the Teams rooms app 4.5.37 in this case, and what version of Windows I'm running. If I go on to details here, I can see the IP address for example, and a serial number or MAC address, not necessarily the one that was sold, but the OEM serial number of the device from the manufacturer. Under activity, I can see the calls, how many participants, how long the call was, and maybe mo most importantly if the audio quality was good. If I press one of the calls I can get some more information. So who participated in the call and for how long. I can also see if the audio quality from this person was good or not. If it was not I can go in and continue investigating what made this call quality bad. I can see how the call was connected. I can see what kind of audio device was used. This way we can see that oh, you used a headset that may not be a good one for this uh, call or for the Teams. So we can see quite a lot of information about this call and each participant. Under the debug option here I can see even more information that can be used to track down problems. For example uh, round trip time for how long was the delay in the call from this particular client and such things. If we now go back to this system and we have the last one here which is history, we can see what has been done on this system. For example I pressed the diagnostics before and it has been queued so it will uh, be visible here in a, in a bit. If I go back to Teams Rooms I can go into one of the unhealthy systems and see what is unhealthy about it. Well, we have the disconnected here, which is what makes this unhealthy. Uh, the reason for this is I have simply disconnected the U USB devices. So if I press health, I see the same thing and I can also see when was this disconnected. If it had been a sign-in problem, I would have seen it here. So the last thing I thought we'll have a look at is the configuration of the system. So I can choose one or more devices to configure at the same time. If I choose 
more than one device. I will only be able to configure things that are mass configurable. That is, I can set the same setting for multiple devices. Not everything can be set this way. So I'll just mark the demo 4 here and press edit settings. I can then see that I can set up the account. This is a typical thing that I can only see in uh, see and do when I choose one system at a time. Uh, what the mode is? Uh, currently the best mode is Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams default. We can set the modern authentication, the calendar address and other things about the uh, Skype and Teams integration. We can also go to meetings and see that these are the options that are in the MTR display when we configure it on on there in the room. You can also set the device for dual or single monitor system or if we want to use the Bluetooth beaconing or not. Peripherals are the devices connected to the system, for example the Logitech webcam here. We also have the speakers that we can use and the content camera. This is not the camera in the room pointed to the people in the room, but this is a camera pointed at the whiteboard in a room, making this a an extra source to be shared in the uh, meeting besides the camera in the room. Then we have the theming too, which is simply change the uh, colors of the system to something else. So this was my quick walkthrough through the interface here. Uh, this will probably evolve quite a bit, so this will probably not be the same in a couple of months. But for now, this is what we get in the standard version of this interface. I hope you got some useful information out of this video. And if you liked it, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel.